हेलो स्टूडेंट्स होप यू आर डूइंग गुड आई एम तेरथ डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ कंप्यूटर साइंस कावेरी डिग्री कॉलेज कोनी कपल टुडे आई एम हियर टू एक्सप्लेन यू सम टॉपिक्स ऑफ रिगार्डिंग कंप्यूटर ग्राफिक्स सो वन बाय वन लेट अस डिस्कस ऑन सम टॉपिक्स टुडे फर्स्ट टॉपिक इज एप्लीकेशन ऑफ कंप्यूटर ग्राफिक्स सो व्हेन वी सी ऑन द कंप्यूटर ग्राफिक्स इज यूज्ड टू क्रिएट डिफरेंट काइंड्स ऑफ लॉट्स ऑफ एनिमेशंस लॉट्स ऑफ इमेजेस एंड डिफरेंट काइंड्स ऑफ थिंग्स हियर अ कंप्यूटर द व्हाट इज द यूज एंड व्हाट इज द एडवांटेजेस ऑफ दिस कंप्यूटर ग्राफिक्स आर how wherever this computer graphics is been applied or utilized and we are going to see about those things today so as i as i have mentioned a computer graphics finds the applications in our life starting from most basic things to the most uh, complicated things also for till a basic thing and for a complicated things also we use this computer graphics without a graphics nothing will be nothing is possible like uh, to if you need to create some things or you need to create a videos or you need to create a uh some kinds of cards or some different kinds of things also we use this computer graphics here i have listed some topics where uh, computer graphics are mostly used one is digital art so it is a common commonly cre- used to create uh, computer uh, images in a digital form so based on digital media like uh, creating a news or different kinds of things we use this computer graphics itself so here a uh, d- digital art is more commonly referred as a art created by a computer in a digital form a uh, digital art can be purely computer generated thing such as fact uh, fact factors or algorithms taken or crea- used to create some scan photocopy or images with the help of gra- vector graphics you so you know about vector graphics it is a bit map bit images so like uh, for creating a uh, uh, cards like say for the example a present uh, job card means or it may be a poster making of a poster so uh, the images which you create with the help of uh, computer graphics that is what a digital art is special effects like when you see when you see a hollywood movies and all you find a special effects like a uh, big uh, some kinds of uh, a blasting takes place or different kinds of thing this special effects are been given with the help of computer graphics itself like a special effect ill- illustrates the film or television or entertainment industries for to stimulate the uh, the image uh, image events of uh, in a story and are called as special effects means for creating uh, images or uh, for creating a uh, stories for creating different kinds of lots of animated things we use the special effects also so there also a computer graphics has been used it is also called as sp sfx or spffx so special effects is been used for uh, for films may, mainly for adding removing enhancing the object with some scenes like to attract those objects we use the special effects and all even a uh, graphics has been used in a visual effects also like uh, by providing v- vfx uh, for visual uh, for a person who sees this film to make make it and uh, more uh, interesting thing we use this animated graphics or computer graphics itself next in the in the field of uh, video gaming also we use this computer graphics itself before uh, video gaming where they start with the uh, launch of video gaming to introduce this video gaming to you or to create some objects inside that video gaming so also we use this computer graphics itself next a computer aided designs cad for a mechanical instruments or to create create a mechanical things like to create to create a engines and all in a in a stimulation we use this computer graphics itself how uh, how uh, this graphics is have will be present or how it is it will be showcased to us in this so for this also we use the computer graphics itself in uh, in modern mechan modern medical industries also like if they need to uh, put one new instrument like uh, to create a new instrument by by which how by uh, make to make the medical field easy so uh, how, when they give a demonstrate to you they make a uh computer graphic images itself right graphical images and they create something and they make you understand like uh, one machine to be introduced to you means also they do that things itself the here these are some of the fields which i have mentioned and remember it is been used widely like say for the example uh, if you uh, it is also been used in your uh, educational platforms to make make to you, you to use and learn those computer graphics also in different kinds of fields like to create a uh, 
a blueprints of a house there also they use this computer graphics itself like to make a dem- uh, dummy pages and all also they use the computer graphics the main part where the computer graphics is used is digital arts to p- perform a picture picture applications or to do different kinds of things special effects i in visual effects video gaming video gaming nowadays uh, when we speak on this uh, video gaming and all uh, these are morely glooming it is a glooming industry itself so then there they create uh, objects and all with the help of computer graphics itself so these are some of the com- graphical instruments where we are going to use this is what a computer graphics is the next we are going to learn the display devices video out- outlets we can we also call that as a video outlets means wh- how uh, images can show showcase the presentation of the graphics is this been t- told in the display devices so we have m- multiple display devices like crt uh, lcd led and uh, we have thin films and uh, blue stacks or different kinds of things for what we use or monitors like the lo- those kinds of things are called as display devices here then today the computer are integ- are the integrated parts of our life anywhere we see we have a computers itself without those things we can't do any kinds of works or we cannot uh, be without uh, ha- having those things right same way the computer graphics is made noticeable in advance to a display and a visual technologies so graphics is not only making the images those images must be so- showcased so those showcasing quantity or the showcasing part is done with the help of this computer graphics itself so this computer graphics to to show to showcase we require something to uh, to make that more po- popular for that we use a display device okay so here and display device is a device for presentation of information such as text or a image or visual tactics representation or for transmitting various information so what is a display device it helps to showcase a images or to showcase a document like so uh, whatever we see a uh, monitor why a monitor is been used to make uh, to un- uh, to make us to look and into it to get grabs the information and to represent the things in a different platform for that we use these monitors correct the same way the computer graphics here it is been utilized for Uh, only if we create create a image in a computer graphics is not enough we need to showcase that so showcasing thing kind is been done with the help of these display devices okay so when the input here when the input information is supplied an electrical signal uh, signal is been passed is this is called as electric or electronic display so how a images is formed means uh, how you can see those images in your television how uh, images has been formed in your television it is helped or it is shown with the help of uh, electronic beams or we can call we can call that as a negatively charged electrons so those electron with the help of those electrons or with the help of those things the images are been passed through a screen hence we get a clear and well defined images to be shown so this is done with the help of a uh, display devices so here a uh, come may we have different kinds of electro display devices which have, which includes a projector or segment display or a television or we kind we see different kinds of screens where we see we see a touch screens those things we call that as a display devices so we now let us talk a commonly used display devices in our computer graphics this is called as a cathode ray tube crt the most of the display devices are a part of the crt itself crt becomes a base to each and every display devices whatever we are going to see in our system so what is the crt this is abbreviated as cathode rate tube a cathode and we know about the things cathode and cathode anode is a positive charge cathode will be a negatively charged particle so here with the help of this negatively charged particles called as electrons a beam is been passed to a screen to form a image so how the beam is been passed or how this images is been showcased we we'll let us learn one by one what is a cathode a cathode which is a part or it is a tube which helps us to convert an electronic signal into a visual signal this helps this is a thing which helps you to convert a electronic signal or elect- neg- negatively charged electron by passing through the 
uh, device which for which helps us to convert that and to produce a image signal or visual signal to make a human to understand what is that concept is okay so the crt is specialized it is a specialized vacuum tube in which a image is been produced when an electronic beam strikes to a phosphorus tube so let us see what is this phosphorus tube is so see uh, you can see at the top uh, left uh, right corner of your screen you have find a phosphorus screen so what is the use of this phosphorus screen is when a electron is being passed inside this when an electron has been passed inside this so what happens here is so this will pass through uh, this electron so here when this electron hits this phosphorus screen you see uh, image so normally when we speak on a crt it is been used in computer displays display uh, previously we, we say uh, doom computers in this a uh, crt has been used so to make to receive a picture with the help of the electrons passed so how this works or what are the different kinds of things we can see so whenever we say uh, here our images is been produced when a electronic beam strikes to that so as i showed you when a electronic beam or a negatively charged electron strikes on a phosphorus beam at that time you uh, image is being formed so it helps us to modulate accelerate or def detect deflect a uh, image on a screen so what does this CRT do cathode ray tube do this cathode ray tube helps us to modulate and accelerate modulate in the sense to provide us to produce that image accelerate to push those electrons to produce the images and def uh, defect or def detect the deflect the image means the what what copy what we get that will be deflected or that will be provided to show to showcase to that image part okay for that this uh, uh, cathode ray tube has been used so let us see how does it work so electronic beam uh, electronic beam gun means here you can see the pins that is called as electronic gun so what is the use of this pins here is pins or electronic gun is this consists of a heating filament uh, heating filament and cathode which helps to helps you to generate a negatively charged electron so when electricity is being supplied to a heater at the time it it has uh, this uh, electronic uh, it gun is also called pins or electronic guns it consists of two things one a cathode two a heater one is a cathode and second one is a heater so what does this do now so this will help to generate a negatively charged electronic beam to produce the image so when uh, images are being uh, sent or images are being uh, pushed out right so the uh, you need to provide uh, some Im uh, the image uh, you need to provide some images so how you are going to provide this images uh, to be showcased mean with the, the help of display device this uh, electronic gun or so called a spin when uh, electricity is been supplied the heater will be will produce some kinds of heat from there a negatively charged electron is been sent or electronic signal will be sent to the uh, to the phosphorus screen remember always a negatively charged electron will be in a negative negation means the minus minus there is a negatively charged electron so when there is both positive and a negative and there may be a they it may join together so if there is no nothing then what happens it ripples means in the sense it moves off uh, it goes far from one electron to another electron so for this to hell uh, to make sure that it should not uh, scatter anywhere or to make sure that it should not live anywhere uh, for that reason we use one more element called as we use uh, one more element called as controlling grid so what does this grid do now so you can see next one controlling grid so what does this controlling grid do controlling grid will help you to control the flow of electrons as i said uh, when there is no positive charge electrons so what happens there is a repulsion repulsion in the sense moving far from one electron to another electron so when it moves far the electrons may be it will move all everywhere but what we require the electronic signal 
what we say uh, electronic signal uh, it should uh, directly go and hit the phosphorus screen so uh, it should move in line wise right so we should move in a line wise so to make sure that it should move in a line wise we use this uh, control grid or so called as grid so what happens here control grid what does it do so this control grid helps you to control the flow of electron flow of electrons which has been released from a heating surface uh, heating surface uh, to make sure that uh, it should flow in a single line we use a controlling grid so controlling grid is the next element that flow that follows the cathode it almost it almost covers the cath uh, cathode link by leaving a small open to uh, to for a electron to come out in a single line so how does it do it is a small open where the electron will push push itself to come out only from that surface so for there should not be any leakage for that reason we use this control grid here okay so here an intensity the in intensity of the uh, of an electron beam is been controlled by setting a voltage level on a control grid so how is the control grid uh, controls the thing it it controls uh, controls the electronic signal by providing uh, by setting a voltage to that proper set by setting a proper voltage only we can control this control signal so the highly negatively charged voltage negatively voltage applied to a control grid sh shuts down a beam by repelling the electrons and stops them by passing stops them to move uh, to scatter outside and makes it to move in that single line itself that is the work of control grid so what does this control grid do the control grid will control the flow of electronic charge how does it control the flow of electronic charge by by setting a proper voltage uh, to make sure that no electron repels uh, no electron scatters outside either then it should move from the same hole which is been mean specified for that thing for that we use this control grid the next is here next year we see uh, we have one more thing called as a focusing system focusing anode so why this focusing anode is been used so here a focusing on or anode is used to make sure the the image in that electron to be properly made visible it helps you to create a clear picture in other words it helps you to create a clear picture the focusing and focusing or a detection a detection plate are together need to form need, needed to focus an electronic beam to cover into a small port and strike the screen otherwise the electron repels to each other and a beam would spread out its appear approach to the screen so what happens here is so mainly why a focusing system or a focusing anode is been used this focusing anode make sure makes helps you to create a clear picture how a clear picture is been utilized so where what electron comes out of that uh, control grid it should be moved in a straight way straight pattern itself should move in a straight pattern itself which i have showed in the figure same way should move and it should hit that phosphorus screen and a image is been produced to make that image more clearly visible for that uh, it this focusing system is been used and a detection coil or detection plates helps to control the direction of a electronic beam from electric field or from a magnetic field so obviously when you use here when you use the pins that works for a electro electric electric uh, electricity when you use a coils it works for a magnetic field so here a de detecting coil produces a extremely low frequency electromagnetic field that allows for consisting a adjustment of a direction of the electronic beam so what does a detection coil do now a detection coil will send or will will provide a uh, a very low very low frequency lights means extremely low frequency 
with uh, a magnet electromagnetic uh, field wave it provides a wave of electromagnetic field which is very extreme which is extremely low why it is been produced it is been produced to control the flow of that electrons to hit the surface okay the for follow of the to hit the surface for that reason this uh, this, this focusing uh, focusing anode and uh, focusing anode and uh, detection coil or deflector or detection plate is been used or deflection plate is been used so here next uh, what happens next here this uh, this will move through a hor uh, move through this de detection plate and hits the phosphorus flame so where it uh, where uh, electro when uh, when uh, where a uh, electron will glow or it provides a image when the highly electronic beam hits the phosphorus beam so it high, when uh, this uh, high electronic beam when it hits the phosphorus beam what happens at that time a uh, at the time a image is been formed at when the electronic beam it hits the phosphorus coil coil at the time a image is been formed so here uh, electro electro electrostatic uh, focusing on the focusing is commonly used in a television and a computer graphics monitor when it accelerates the electronic beam coil collides with the phosphorus coated stream a part of kinetic energy is converted into a light and uh, heat when a electronic beam collides with the phosphorus phosphorus coated they stop their and kinetic energy is been absorbed by a phosphorus this results in a display so what happens here the highly positive electronic beam it hits the uh, phosphorus screen what is there in a green line it hits the phosphorus screen at the time what happens there is there the phosphorus screen will absorb all the kinetic energy and then a display is been produced so this is how a uh, crt works so uh, hope you understood everything right so the what does this pins or electronic guns do electronic guns consist of two things one is heater and second one is cathode what does the heater do heater will produce the electronic signal heater will produce the electronic signal or electro electrons like negatively charged electrons and we have a control grid over there why a control grid been it is utilized this control grid is been utilized to control the flow of electrons used to control the flow of electrons to the system and next we have focusing and deflection coil or focusing system and deflection system so why a focus system is been used a focus system is been used to create a proper well defined image and display a deflection coil what does it do it controls the direction of the electrons by producing low electromagnetic waves and then what does it do it has two things horizontal and vertical thing also so we have the two direction with the things like the two sides one is horizontal and other one is vertical so electrostatic is commonly used in a television or in computer graphics and here when each and every beam is been accelerated through those coils itself it hits to the phosphorus screen which is called as a kinetic energy so this kin kinetic energy consists of heat and light so e every heat is been absorbed or a kinetic energy is been absorbed with the phosphorus screen and then uh, it turns into a display unit or it it will help to show showcase a image that is what a crt is so crt it is it is one of the famous technique itself but also it has very serious drawbacks they are because it they are they are very bulky in size means what happens you can see uh, or older monitors what does it do when for a time for a certain may, certain amount of time is it may work for other other than it, it will it may stop its work correct so other than it stops its work so what happens there at the time the there there may be a, uh, a drag in that means like there may be something there may be a crash or some different in the your television may not on for a certain time when uh, heat heat decreases at the time it may on means what i am going to try to say here is it is uh, it is very uh, difficult to use this and it takes lots of space one proper space it may take okay in order to increase the size width of the crt you may also have to increase the length of the tube hence it becomes it becomes very difficult 
to provide a proper way, proper place, or it may sometimes the, the charge may be slow. This is what about the CRT. Hope you understood about a CRT. What is a CRT and all? Correct. So this is the image what you are going to see that in a screen cathode ray tube here. As I have um, mentioned, what does it do here? So the cathode, uh, it is the kind of a cathode, a cathode is a cylindrical shape material structure that has a rich electrons. On heating an electron, it rela uh, it realizes the cathode surface. What is a cathode? It is a boundary. I can speak as a boundary itself. Okay. Next, uh, why a control grid has been used? It is control grid is been used to help to flow, control the flow of electrons. Next. What does it say here? Here we control them to uh, to provide a brightness of our images. We use with the help of a control grid itself. So what? Why it is a control grid being used to say make sure that never a electron must be scattered. For that reason, we use a control grid. Next is about a focusing and deflection coil. A focusing and deflection coil has been used. Focusing coil has been used to create a proper image. Deflection coil has been provides the direction to that electrons to flow in the same mannerism. And a deflection coil may provide a very low level electromagnetic signal. Hence, it moves in a proper stanza. So there, there will not have any ripple in between. When we speak on a deflection coil we have two types of deflection coils one is horizontal reflection coil and vertical deflex coils also okay next as i have explained here uh, as i have explained uh, finally what does it do the electrostatic focuses is commonly used here in televisions and computer display units and when an accelerated electronic beam collides with through the phosphorus coated so phosphorus screen what i showed you here a phosphorus screen when this electrons comes and collides with the phosphorus screen, it, it it will release two things. One is light and second one is heat. The heat is been absorbed by the phosphorus screen and then a image is been displayed. This is how a cathode ray tube works. So hope you understood this things right. So other things let me explain you in the next classes. So thank you.